Okay, so we're just doing some straight up uh, blackout stuff today. I think this is like the vanilla ice cream of this channel. I think there's there's like 37 episodes or something of just regular blackout tattoo reactions. Right. It's our prime export here. All right. So <laughs> the first one just says, please react to my first pass blackout. Had it for six months now. Looking to get a second pass done. Uh, looks awful. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how many times, like, I just had it today, I posted this uh, four slide picture of my arm, and I say on that photo, like, every part of this is multiple layers, mm -hmm. and you, I have people in my comments being like, C can't you just do the black once real quick and then do the color right away? <laughs> like, why do you want to fuck yourself up so bad? You want to have a smooth canvas, well, guys. Like, people are always just trying to find the path of least resistance through everything in life. Like, it's like, I could just do that. You think we could do the color in the same session, too? You think, like, we could just pack the it's color? It's not the th path of least resistance. It's the path of paying the least money. Well, they no, are, it's, it's also pain, too. Shit. Like, yeah. a lot of people don't want to do it because it's like, even if you gave them, a, like, I've said this before, because people are like, well, you've got millions of dollars, Remy, which is not <laughs> true. <laughs> but, but, like, that's a bogus thing that halfwits think. Um, they think that if you gave them all the money in the world, they would just do these things. Yeah. And then you see people with lots of money, and they don't just do these things. Yeah. It's not just about money. And it's, it's more about patience and, like, the effort that goes into it and always being healing and and taking this shit seriously a lot of people don't really want to fuck with this that much they just want the cool thing i also think like right? people they just want the cool people thing. don't have money because they spend recklessly like well they have money they just they putting stop it stop buying starbucks guys well they're putting it in weird places and then they're not remembering where they put it a lot of mm -hmm. time right like like i would always here's one of the things that i found when i was growing up is i had the most money of all my brothers, and there were times when I was making the least money. Yep. Right? I always had the most money. And mm -hmm. it was because I kept track of what I was spending. Right? So it wasn't really like I was making more. I was having more because I wasn't spending as you much. You were also, you're very, like, frugal, too. Like, um, you know, uh, dinner, uh, peanut butter toast. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, you know. Until I can afford to eat, like, whatever the fuck I want. Right. You know? And then it's like, even then I dial it in. But anyway. Yes. Uh, this is pretty bad. Right? Yeah, this is, uh, I mean... But it also depends on what was under there. Yeah. Like, whenever I get sent one of these, like, it's a first pass blackout, it's like, you kind of need context. Because, like, if this was negative space under here, then this guy really sucks. Yeah. But, like, if it was a whole bunch of really bad, scarred up work, then it's kind of forgivable. Right? Like, I can see some remnants of some past disasters hiding under here. But, like, it really is about context. Because, mm -hmm. like, I had a guy call down here the other day. It was like, how much would it be for a black... Like, they just want, like, a quick, fast answer. And it's like, well, what the fuck size is your arm? Mm -hmm. Right? And what do you got on it? Like, those are things that matter. And then you need to see a picture to see what kind of shape it's in. Like, scar tissue and stuff. So, it's like, it's really hard to give you an accurate um, understanding of what you're in for or what to expect until you see it. So like these things should be sent in almost with their befores too. Yeah. So that you can properly assess the situation. Cause like there could have been a lot going on under here. I have a feeling there wasn't though. I have a feeling it was just a few things. I, yeah, or like, yeah. The, the other side is also bad. It's a horrible picture though. Yeah, well you can see all the skin through here. This is where like, when this happens with color, like, remember when um, Ashen was doing that bag piece cover-up? And I was like, oh, the color is going, a little in, going in pretty thin yeah. at the top. And then it's time to shut it down. Because mm -hmm. it's like, when you see that translucency happening, it's sort of like... Yeah, you're pushing it too far already. Well, yeah, the color's not going in right. Something's going wrong, right? And then it's time to just call it a day, usually. Or he just, like, the guy didn't know how to get in the right layer of skin somewhere, right? You see it on your arm. There's still some patchiness in there. No, it's on my uh, first layer. Is that's definitely first layer. patchy. You see with the second pass, it's really solid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My right? second layer is uh, solid as heck. Now, there are a few guys that can do this on a first pass, but they're very, very rare. And even then, 
Like uh, Walker X, for example, does not guarantee a one pass black elbow. Mm -hmm. No one, no one reasonable will ever guarantee you that. Mm -mm. And anybody who's saying they have one is not looking closely. Well, I think right. mine is like two passes and it's still not fully yeah. solid. Like. So it's pretty typical fair to be, you know, you see here where it was healing. Mm -hmm. He had a rose on his hand. He covered too. Yeah, I think that was the right choice. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Sometimes it takes a little while for a blackout to show its true colors. No, no pun intended. Yeah, it just needs to settle. The, the, first, the first month can be kind of like a honeymoon phase. And then whatever inconsistencies will start showing up thereafter. Yeah, well, I think Ash's uh, is a really good example of that. Um, she's got work to do. Hers has been sitting, and, and now she, she's always pointing out to me, like, shallow here, and I can see through here, and it's like... Yeah, and those things will drive you crazy, because in most normal tattoos, you won't be bothered by these things. And I assure you, the guy sitting out there with the black and gray sleeve that he thinks looks great... You have them too. It's oh, just yeah. there's no emphasis on them. No, they're they're more um, hidden. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's a lot of forgiveness when you have all different tones and shades and colors and things. Mm -hmm. The minute you make something all one tone, then that's the limit of your ability. Like I always say, blackout is like the stress test, mm -hmm. and you'll see how well a tattooer knows how to just strictly saturate, right? Because if they don't, every little nick in their armor shows, and. Uh, you know, it's not as easy as people think it is. And it needs to be regarded as a high skill, right? And it needs to be, like, it needs to be talked about that way instead of, it's just black, how hard can it be? It's like, well, it'll make you look like a fucking buffoon. That's how hard it is. Oh, yeah. The I, amount I of botched blackouts I've seen come in here. We had two high-level black and gray artists at this shop who've never done blackout before. Neither of them are with us anymore, but that's not the point. And both of their first blackouts did not look good. Mm -hmm. Like they looked pretty fucking bad. And they were doing, uh, the, you know, thousand dollar a day uh, black and gray realism. So they were doing pretty high level black and gray. And they got into blackout and they got humbled real quick. Yeah. So it's not what people think it is. That's well, usually how it goes. But uh, yeah, just do the second pass. I think the guy who did this is probably capable of doing a nice smooth second pass yeah i think so too but uh I, I don't think it's a problem of ability on his his part i just think these things are necessary man and we need to we need to promote the idea of a tattoo is a lifestyle not a purchase like a shirt well and i always think too like good good artists that are doing um blackouts and i think any like really solid color work too will give you um, a good heads up, like, hey, this might need a second pass. Like, anytime I'm doing, like, big spaces of color, well, number one, because I'm not, you know, quite there yet. Number two, because it's true, um, a lot of the times that stuff does need a second hit. Unless you're, like, a fucking amazing, Even if it doesn't shit, need a second hit, it could use it. It wants a second yeah. hit. Almost all color could benefit from a second pass. I think so. And clients almost never come back. <laughs> No, I know, which is really ridiculous. It's really fucking annoying. I'd even just come in and say hi so we can see how the tattoo healed, man. Like, <laughs> please. Yeah, it's falling apart, but it's good enough. Right? Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I was just telling you how much that peeves me the other day that uh, people, people will have a tattoo that they're not happy with, and they'll go... They'll complain to a different artist yep. and be like, oh, so-and-so did well, such a shit job awkward, of this right? tattoo. And Most like, people don't know how to talk to people. Well, it's like, just just come and tell me <laughs> that I did a bad job on your tattoo. Uh, like, come I mean, and, come might... and talk to me. Come and say, hey, Sarah, this healed really fucking weird. And I'll be like, oh, shit. <laughs> Let's uh, talk like, about it. What sometimes can we do it's to just fix informative. It? Like, you'd like to have the report card, right? Well, yeah, exactly. You I can't don't... get better. I don't know if I, you know, if you're scabbing when you're healing your color, unless you tell me. And then right? some people pick their scabs and too, which is even worse. Um, anyways, <laughs> let's move on. So here's a uh, a big one. It says, "Hi Remy, hi Sarah, yay!" Uh, I had sent Jenny. you, yeah, shush. Jenny, uh, her name is Jenny. It's Sarah, <laughs> you you stop that. Um, what are you pointing at? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I had sent you my first blackout a while ago. 
I used those photos for marketing and had the chance uh, to have others come in. Oh, interesting. Uh, these photos are my third real blackout. This client is a tattoo artist and he attempted to blackout his own arm. We made a deal and he let me blackout his arm in two stages. Since he did the first attempt by himself on himself, I was less stressed. Um, stressed to have a longer session. Uh, we first went ahead with that, with what was, what wasn't done. Sorry, this is not, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time reading this today. I uh, took a break and went ahead with blacking out what was done. So first pass at break and second pass on his work. Um, I had him be sure he had a lift going back to his house and he had a day off at least, but since he's experienced, he healed it very well. So here are seven pictures of the fresh tattoo. The one with event is before, and the one with the peeling is saying uh, one week later. Thanks. Um. So this is the before this thing here, this turd burger. I think you yeah. got some photos mixed no, in. No, this here. is this is the uh, this is the before. Okay. Yeah. No, you see that with the rose there. So yeah. she only sent us the one of the before. So these are the same arm. And uh, the yeah, eyes brutal. That's a brutal shot. No, you're. It's the right one. Okay. Yeah. No, Just that's brutal. Crazy. Okay. Yeah. That's that's horrible. That that was a different flower on the other hand. Okay. I yeah. see red rose and I got confused. Yeah, but it doesn't have the green leaves. Ah, there we go. Right. Thank you. Details. This is this is his attempt at blacking out his own arm. I think this would be really hard to do. Of course it would be hard to yeah. do. And it looks like it was labored, right? Yeah. Like Terry started blacking out his leg that day. Go he said it was hard. Got. It's terrible. Yeah. He said hard, it was hard to stretch, hard to reach, like just terrible. Yeah, I think it would be terrible. Well, with, too. with blackout, what what's hard about it is you have to be so consistent, right? Mm -hmm. And like, it's hard to not pull your punches, right? Especially on this, yourself, like, on yourself, like when it's starting to get spicy. Ugh. I pierced myself a whole bunch of times, and I don't even feel pain when I'm doing things like that. Yeah. Because it's like I'm more focused. I'm too focused to think about pain. You should try tattooing yourself. I don't think it would be much different. Yeah. I don't, because, like, I don't think about pain the same way that most people do anyway. Like, it's the same way when you're stretching ears and stuff. Like, yeah. it's just, like, that's just annoying. Like, it's, like, yeah, yeah, fuck off. I don't care about that's, that. That's, yeah, I find it really annoying when I'm tattooing it's, myself. It's, like, it's just part of it, mm -hmm. and it's not something that I'm that phased by. I don't know. Pain is always just kind of like price of admission for me. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's like breathing, whatever. Let's mm -hmm. just get after it. But yeah, that's pretty fucking terrible. So anything would be an improvement on that. And uh, this looks like the best that this person has done. Uh, Lane here has sent us some of her blackout. I think this is the third time. Mm -hmm. And it looks like she's getting better at it. Yeah. It's still a little choppy looking here. Of course, this is fresh, so it's hard to say what we're in for. Would like to see the healed result here. I don't think we have it. I don't think it looks like there's like too much crazy trauma or anything like that. Though. Were these I mean, there's moles a few that spots. she's skirting around, or what is happening there? Yeah. I used to have some moles that weren't blacked out, but they're all gone now, and I haven't had any problems. I'm not worried about it either. For a long time, we were dancing around those, but they just—they were just so in the way. I had one on my side that was right in the middle of a tentacle. It hmm. was just like. This thing's got to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. So I, I don't know what the problem would be. But it does look like um, her technique is getting better overall. Yeah. I mean, like in, in these uh, fresh shots, they look, it looks smooth. It doesn't look overly uh, traumatized. You'll be able to see some mag lines, I think. Yeah. Like you can see that the technique is a little bit, a little bit all over the place mm -hmm. in spots. Or at least it looks like it, like it looks like there was some kind of change of motion in places direction is going kind of all over the place but that it's always hard to say fresh like a fresh blackout always looks pitch black mm -hmm. like they always do well there's so much ink sitting on yeah. the skin yeah and you don't really ever know what it looks like until it sheds it's the same thing like how bright was my hand the other day mm -hmm. when we first did that uh, red velvet red velvet's not even a bright red no but it was just super fucking bright and it's like we already know it's a dark red 
but it's looking super bright because it's all staining the skin. Right. So, uh, I, don't, I can never judge a, a fresh blackout accurately. So, but uh, send us the healed one when it shows up and uh, I'll be happy to feature it again.